Christopher Kennedy Lawford was in Oklahoma City Tuesday night for an evening of courage and inspiration. He spoke about his addiction to drugs and alcohol and the last 22 years of being sober. He admits that even though he was born into a famous family, that doesn't mean the road to recovery was easy. Here's a glimpse of his motivational story. See, I believe that I was born with the addict's hole in my soul. It needed to be filled. My first drug was sugar. When I was 13 years old, I found LSD. And I will tell you this, when you're 13 years old and your only high has been a Snickers bar, LSD can answer a lot of your questions. <laughs> it's not so bad, I thought for the first time. When you choose the beginning of the road, you also choose the destination. From the moment I took that first tab of acid, the only thing that mattered to me for the next 17 years was where I was going to get my next drink or my next drug. I needed a God badly. One of my spiritual mentors said to me, <clears throat> throw your shoes under the bed. I said, what? He said, throw your shoes under the bed and get on your knees and ask a God of your own understanding to remove the obsession to use drugs and alcohol. I did it in my mother's apartment on the eighth floor of a building that she lived in in New York. And I thought everybody in New York City was watching me. Getting on my knees was one of the most difficult and vital acts of my new recovery. It required the physical surrender of hitting the floor and truly submitting to something greater than me. I felt stupid and I felt weak. It was, this act was so antithetical to who I thought I was conditioned to become. But my desperation saved me and my resistance, pa my resistance passed and within 30 days, the daily obsession to use drugs and alcohol, which had vanquished me every single day for 17 years, vanished. And it hasn't come back for 22 years and counting.